Hello, I'm Mary and thank you so much for coming. I pray that as you listen to this video today, your life will not remain the same again. Restoration of your health. Yeah. And it's starting today. Yeah. Jesus was teaching and the power of God was present to heal. You going forward. They came to hear him and to be healed, and there went a virtue from him and healed them all. He's always there. A two fold mandate to save us from sin and make us heaven worthy. Two, to destroy the works of the devil so we can live life more abundantly. Two things. That's all he came for. In the precious name of Jesus, every walk of the devil tormenting anyone's life, anyone's health, anyone's family, comes under a curse today. <laughs> that oppression ends here today. In Jesus' name. Jesus, breathe upon your world. Amen. Let the virtue in your world flow forth Amen. and set free every captive. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and be seated. The prophetic focus for the month has read to us again today is I will restore Health unto thee. Jeremiah 30 and verse 17. And heal thee of all thy wounds. I will restore health unto thee. And heal thee of all thy wounds. Because you have been called an outcast. This is Zion. Whom no man seeketh after. But I will restore. I will change your story. Jesus said. The word says. He will restore health unto us. And heal us of all our wounds. Every pain, every strain, every stress will be over. I will restore health unto you and heal you of all thy wounds. May this summer mark the end of every torture on your life and health. Yeah. In Jeremiah chapter, 20, chapter 8 and verse 20, here is what he says. The harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. For the heart of the of my people and my heart and black as some has taken hold of me. Is there no balm in Gilead? Is there no vision there? Why are they not here? My people remain captive because they have no knowledge. This month is your month. Yeah. You are walking into your liberty finally. Yeah. The harassment of sickness and this on your life comes to an end this time. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Our teaching series is captioned, Unveiling Healing Wonders and Redemption. Unveiling healing wonders and redemption. The people marveled, saying, We have seen strange things today. Luke 5, verse 26. When that man stood up from his bed, they were all amazed and glorified God. I'm filled with fear, saying, we have seen great things, strange things today. Strange order of healings will be taking place today. Yeah. Because the same yesterday, today, and forever. Strange order of healings begins here today. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest, amen. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. 
now, by way of introduction, by redemption, the price for our total healing has been fully paid. Himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. He carried our pain. He took our sicknesses, Isaiah 53, 4 and 5, and then Matthew chapter 8, verse 16 and 18. They brought to him all that were sick and best with evil spirits. He cast out evil spirits with his word and healed all that were sick. Let me feel which is written by Isaiah the prophet, himself took our infirmity and bore our sicknesses. That's God. Jesus already paid the price. You have been born with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and your spirit, which are the Lord's. 1 Corinthians 16, 20. For ye are bought with a price. The price is paid. The goods are now legally ours. You don't have to pay for goods in the shopping mall. As long as it's paid for, you have a receipt. You are the legal owner of those goods, do we pass through the security gate with dignity because it has been paid for. The good news is for every saved soul, the total price for our total healing has been fully paid for. So we can go out of that mall, out of the mall of sickness and disease, saying, bye-bye, price already paid, I'm going away with my goods. That's happening today. Amen. By whose stripes he why he settled. The same way Jesus saves simply, he also heals simply. Psalm 103, forget not all his benefits. He forgives all our iniquities and he heals all our diseases. Same day, same price. Heal all our diseases. Salvation is simply delivered by faith. You can't pay for it. In the same vein, healing is delivered simply by faith. The healer is here. His name is Jesus. And is setting every sick soul free from this platform. Yeah. Christ still heals all manner of sickness and all manner of disease, including raising of the dead. Raising is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Matthew 4 23, he went about their synagogues teaching and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of disease. All manner of sickness and all manner of disease among the people. And it's the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13, 8. What he did yesterday, he's still doing today. It's your turn. It's your turn. It's your turn. Amen. He told Jairus, relax. Only believe. There's no issue. They say, your daughter is dead. Drop now the master. He said, Jesus had it. He said, relax. Only believe. Only believe. And he made it happen. Everything dead in you, we hear today. Amen. Everything dying in your system will come back to life today. Your dying kidney will bounce back to life today. Yeah. Your dying liver will bounce back to life today. Yeah. Everything killing you will drop off today. Yeah. Cancer will drop off your life today. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Faith 
is a non-negotiable requirement for receiving our healing. Jesus said to them, Jesus marveled at their unbelief. Mark 6, 5 and 6. And he could there do no mighty work save that he lay hands on a few sick folk and heal them. And he marveled because of their unbelief. He marveled. The anointing they carry could not be a substitute for their faith. He marveled at their unbelief. The one that speaks and the dead hears came to his place. Nothing major happened. He marveled at their unbelief. Sum up your faith right now. Without your faith, it's impossible. Faith is a must. So if I come to God, must believe. Faith is a must to assess the healing virtue. Faith is a must. It's not a suggestion. Faith is a must. One can be in church forever. You can't assess the healing virtue without faith. I can't assess the healing virtue without faith. For whosoever cometh to God must believe that God is who he says he is. And say, I am the Lord that healed thee. He must believe. You don't believe, you can't assess it. It's not teaching it, it's believing it. It's not quoting it, it's believing it. Faith is a must for any believer to assess the healing virtue. This month, our teaching series and our services is captioned Understanding Healing Wonders and Redemption. First, we look at healing wonders in faith. We understand for that healing is a covenant right of every child of God, but Deliverable only by faith. Deliverable only by faith. You are in a service. Someone is set free from cancer. Another one went back his, with his headache. So it's not about the anointing. It's about the faith of the recipient. Somebody had a word from here all the way to Kogi State, and the child bounced back to life. Somebody sat here in front, and his back ache still went back home with him in the same service. The difference? Faith. Faith. Somebody took communion from India and got free from bone marrow cancer. Somebody else took it here and went back with stomach ache. Faith. God is no respecter of Faith. God makes the difference. Therefore, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may your faith come alive today. Yeah. Tell whatever came with you that today is your day. You are going out. I'm not returning back home with you. I'm not returning back home with you. High blood pressure, today. Hypertension, today. Diabetes, today. Waist pain, today. Cancer, today. HIV AIDS, today. Sickle cell anemia, today. By the word, by the word, by the word, by the word. He sent his word and he healed them and delivered them from all their destructions. It's your day. It's your day. Yeah. It's your day. Yeah. He told those two blind people, do you believe that I'm able to do this? They said, yeah, Lord. Then touch in their eyes and say, according to your faith, 
my touch won't deliver it, your faith will take it. You can't receive it with just my touch. You need your faith to receive it. Don't come to try. Come trusting. God is ever up to what he says. Stop trying God. Thou shalt not tell me the Lord your God. Come trusting God is up to whatever he says. According to your faith. So we receive our healing according to our faith. We receive our healing according to our faith. But we must believe in our healing rights and redemption. Who had believed our report. Let him expect to see the arm of God set forth on his life. To deliver what he says. We must believe. As many as received the word, to them gave you power to become what the word says, even as, as many as believe on his name. They received the word, they believe the word, they're empowered to become what the word says. John 1 12. Now hear this. Faith is the spiritual currency that procures our healing and deliverance from all satanic assaults on our health. Faith is that spiritual currency that procures our healing and deliverance from all satanic attacks on our health. Faith is it. But it never goes about like a running lion, seeking who he may devour or destroy or torment. Whom resists steadfast in the faith and resists the devil in the faith, he will flee from you. Faith is the one way to ward off all arrows of satanic attacks on our health. Above all, Taking the shield of faith, whereby you quench all the fiery darts of the devil. Ephesians 6 and verse 16. At 6 and verse 16 about the man, the, the crippled man at the beautiful gate, Peter said, verse 16, please. Acts 3, verse 16. And his name, through faith in his, in his name, has made this man strong, him ye see and know. <laughs> yea, the faith which is by him has given this man this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. Faith has capacity to restore health fully. Perfect soundness through faith in his name. Again is your day. Even death bows to the authority of faith. Be not afraid. Believe only. Luke 8, 49 to 55. John 11, 39 to 44. Jesus, by this time, is thinking. He said unto them, Did I not say unto you that if thou wouldn't believe, that should I see the glory of God. After four days in the grave, Jesus said, faith has the answer. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. Did they see it or not? No matter how long that death situation is in your body, you will see the glory of God. <laughs> As your faith comes alive, that the one who called forth Lazarus, after he was decomposing, back to life. You are still moving about. So that medical verdict that you are dead, 
It's a lie of the devil. By the virtue, healing virtue of Christ, who bounce back to life. Therefore, that kidney passes back to life. Yeah. Your liver passes back to life. Yeah. Your intestine passes back to life. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Someone has been touched already. Yeah. Open your heart. These are not statements of don't impress anybody. They are pointers to your heritage which you have the right to take by force. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. The battle is won. The battle over your head is won today. The battle over your head is won today. The battle over your head is won today. We are told about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego who came forth from the fiery furnace that the heat of it killed people who threw them inside because they trusted in their God. Daniel 3.28 Because they trusted in their God. Their trust in God yielded their body against their sort of death. Their body was transfigured because they trusted in their God. I see people going out of this service today with transfigured body. Transfigured body. Immune to sickness and disease. Immune to a sort of death. You are that one, let me hear your loudest, amen. Daniel came out from the den of lions because he believed in his God. That's the authority of faith over death. Daniel 6, 23. Because he believed in his God. Because he believed in his God. Therefore, every verdict of death on anyone's life today is reverted. Some specialists have said, you are already dead because this is the day you will die. That verdict is reverted. Yeah. And it's reverted now. Yeah. Now, hear me before we conclude. Faith is a now force. Don't mistake hope for faith. Hope says faith will do it. Faith says I'm here to do it. Faith says I'm what? Here to do it. Faith is a now force. Now faith is the substance. Now faith. Now faith. It is the now faith that heals people. It's the now faith that sets people free. No future looking faith. The now faith. Will God be any more powerful tomorrow? Will your God be any more powerful tomorrow? Will he be any more compassionate tomorrow? Will he be, will he be any more merciful tomorrow? You are taking your own today. Yeah. You are taking it now. Yeah. For I have heard thee in the time appointed. The day of salvation have succored thee. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, today is the day of salvation. Therefore, every pain that came with you drops off your body right now. assault on your head and it turns back to sender. Yeah. That killer disease is destroyed in your body. Yeah. You hear Christ say, your faith has made the whole. Your faith has made the whole. It is only faith that makes whole Faith in the finished work of Christ. He already paid the price.
your days of stress and strain, they are over. In the name of Jesus. What our heart is to our physical life is what faith is to our spiritual life. Your heart. Everyone needs his heart to stay alive. In the same vein, everyone needs his faith to stay spiritually alive and triumphant. <laughs> everyone needs his own. The judge shall live by his faith. Mind your faith. If you don't want to fail, mind your faith if you don't want to be overcome by the enemy. Mind your faith and build your faith and keep your faith alive. Hib Abaku 2.4, the just shall live by his faith. Romans 1.17, the just shall live by faith. Galatians 3.11, the just shall live by faith. Hebrews 10, 38, now, the just shall live by faith. If any man draws back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Mind your faith if you must have your victory. Mind your faith if you must live a triumphant life. Mind your faith if you must become a conqueror. Mind your faith, no shortcut. No shortcut. And faith comes by hearing and understanding the word. So, Mind the word of faith to build your faith and keep your faith alive, so to keep your spiritual alive and triumphant. Mind your faith. Mind your faith. Faith is a personal responsibility of every believer to build. No one can build your faith for you, just like no man can build your muscles for you. You can be taught how to build your muscles, but you have to be the one to build it. Stop hanging on other people's faith. Build your faith. Build your faith. The faith of Christ could not bring them out. Build your faith. Couldn't heal them. Build your faith. Couldn't set them free. Build your faith. Build your faith so you don't suffer a wreck. Build your faith to live a triumphant life. Build your faith. You are in a church that is faith-based, faith-born, faith-advancing. Gather faith materials to build your faith. Build your faith. It won't be reserved. Your faith will never build itself. Build your faith on, on very rich spiritual menu. Build your faith on proven word of God. And then you're on and on top. Waiting may be dangerous. Why the one, the faith of the one praying for us may be important, but our own faith is required to receive our healing. <laughs> you can receive your healing with your own faith without being prayed over. But no matter the anointing of the one who prays over you, without your faith you can't receive. It comes back to you and me. Build your faith. <coughs> the faith that heals and delivers is domiciled in the heart. That woman said within herself, if I may touch the of women, I shall be made whole. Matthew 9, 22-22 is in the heart. She said within herself. She said within herself. For with the heart we believe, with the confession is made unto salvation. There must be faith in the heart before what we say in the mouth will have meaning. Hebrews 4, and verse 2. For unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them. But the one did not profit them, nor be mixed with faith in them that had it. Faith is of the heart. 
Where only God can see the heart, all men can see the victory of faith. Yes, God sees the heart. I believe when you don't know, I should know with the victory you command. Faith that does not command victory is fake. Every faith that is domiciled in the heart can manifest victory on the outside. Today's your day. <coughs> Today's your day. Yeah. Today's your day. Yeah. The victory of faith is undeniable. Through faith, they cross the Red Sea. That's not theoretical. That's practical. It is what we believe in the heart that empowers what we say with our mouth to come to pass. We shall say to this mountain, be thou removed and not doubt in your heart. You shall have whatsoever you say. So when there's doubt in the heart, it renders non and void what to say with your mouth. And shall not doubt in his heart. But shall believe that what he says shall come to pass. He shall have whatever he says. He's not just saying it. The sons of Kepha were calling the right name, but they were not. It had no effect. It had a negative effect on their life. In the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches, they were appropriating the faith of somebody else. You need your faith to command your dominion. Everybody needs his faith. This is your month. This is your month. This is your month. This is your month. Yes. This is your month. Let me hear your loudest, amen. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest, amen. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Strong faith is what we call trust. Which brings a believer into rest. Why God takes over his battle. Build your faith to a point of rest. <laughs> Build your faith to a point of let God be true and all men liars. <laughs> and as you enter the realm of rest, God takes over your battle. Exodus 14, 14. The Lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace. Exodus 14, 14. Build your faith to a point of rest. They that believe do enter into rest. Hebrews 4, 6. They enter into rest. How they get there? Labor in the world to enter into that rest. So you don't fail, as I say, man of unbelief. So we labor in the world to build our to build strength of our faith, we brings us into rest. And may God take over our battles. Sir, God is the one fighting my battles. I will have been gone forever. God is the one fighting my battles. Build your faith to a point of rest that will make God take over your battle. <laughs> they that believed do enter into rest. Amen. Amen. And not by wishing. Let us therefore labor to enter into that rest. Lest we also fail, let us say, man of unbelief. For the word of God is quick and powerful. Let's labor in the world to enter into that rest. All these stories people are telling, it's not the way. Until you win, you have not believed. So humble yourself with that. <laughs> Until you win, you have not believed. There is no unwinnable battle in the kingdom.
it has only been the faith problem. The faith problem. The faith problem. The faith problem. In the precious name of Jesus Christ, this month is declared your month. Yeah. Every mark of the devil will no longer be seen in your life. Yeah. And in this service, you are not going back with any sickness. Yeah. You are not going back with any disease. Yeah. In Jesus' name. Yeah. Now, among the crosses of the law is sickness of long continuance off and on on and on off a while and on and on again not a while the Deuteronomy chapter 28 among the causes of the law we have this verse 59 he said by this cause it's a cause shall that individual be when he goes out or when he comes in. Verse 60. He said, The Lord. Now please go to 58. Then the Lord will make thy plague wonderful and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues and of long continuance, and sore sicknesses and of long continuance. <laughs> Generation. Uh, moreover, the Lord will bring upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou knowest, which, which thou was afraid of, and it shall cleave unto thee. Those are listed among the cause of the Lord, but Christ has redeemed us from all the causes of the Lord and has brought us into the blessings of Abraham, which are listed between verse 1 and verse 14. My God. So, I have been redeemed. Can I have you say that with me? Amen. Salvation is your way out and my way out of the causes of life. You have been redeemed. Unto us, God first gave Christ. Amen. To the Lord Roman, he says, and to bless us. Acts 3 26. Unto you, first, God having raised up his son Jesus, sent him to bless you and turning away everyone from his iniquity. So the day we turn, we step out of causes into blessings. The good news, no cause of the law, which includes untimely death, has a hold on your life anymore. A legal liberty has been secured by Christ. Every hereditary disease has no more hold on your life. Yeah. The disease that killed the grandfather, gave the father, killed the mother. It's not your portion. Yeah. That siege along your biological line ends here today. Yeah. It ends here right now. Crosses are real. Crosses are real. Proverbs 26 and verse 2. As the bird by wandering and the swallow by flying, so the cross costless shall not come. Until one surrenders life to Christ, he lives under the cross of the Lord which is the highest order of causes. They are the causes of God himself. And look God can deliver us from his cause. Nobody else.
But whatever is born of God overcomes the world. So we overcome the causes by being born again. And when you are born again, who can curse whom God has not cursed? And who can defy whom the Lord has not defied? How shall I curse whom God has not cursed? When we are born again, we become uncursable, 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 uncursable. It can only take over under his blessings to escape the plague of curses. That's why life is full of crises for the unsaved. That's the thing that we are faking it. We are taking, telling testimonies. Sharing testimonies. Until one is rescued from the kingdom of darkness, he continues on that torture and torment. There's always weeping and gnashing of teeth in that kingdom. But when we escape by salvation, we enter the kingdom of light. Where there is life. In him is life. In the life is the light of man. And that light shines in darkness, darkness cannot handle it. So we escape from the causes by salvation. Hebrews 2 and verse 3. That's the first step out of the negative impact of the cause of life. Somebody is free. Yeah. Somebody is free. Yeah. Somebody is free. Yeah. Two senior persons to me came one day to me in the house. I was back home. Said, we are the brothers of Joseph that hated him. I didn't know they did. But when God blessed Joseph, he remembered them. Please remember us. So you think about the Christian you like you. But let God like you. They hated David so bad that after he was anointed, they sent him back to the forest. They said, but God liked me to make me king. Don't mind those who hate you. Just let God like you. Can I hear your amen? Amen. Just let God like you. We are the brothers of Joseph who hated him. That's talking to me. No discussion led to it. It was clean, clean confession. Clean confession. It can have impact on you when you take over under the blessings. Bitterness can have impact on you when you take over under the blessings. You may not would think that everybody here agrees what I'm doing, but they see come. Whether they agree or not, it doesn't change me. I agree with God. I'm in agreement with God. But he that his brother abides in the death. There are many self-inflicted causes. Who will survive it? Amen. Walking in bitterness and bitter life. Stop it, my friend. Stop it. Stop it. And for you that are hated, don't return hatred for hatred. Carry on with your life. Avoid the haters. Not to complicate more their problem. But the more, the, the more they see you triumph, the more hatred they build. And the more suffering they suffer. People are insisting people coming to our church in Kaduna. They stood on the way. Don't go there. Don't go there. Go back. Go back. Go back. The devil is there. I never made a comment. We were growing. They were groaning. I never made a comment once. <laughs> Beware of self-inflicted causes. I'm just showing you one of them. There are many people living under self-inflicted causes. They mock the move of the Spirit. The Bible says in Isaiah 28, 21 and 22. 
But the Lord shall rise up and say, Men Zion, Perazim, do this work, it's strange work. Neither be ye mockers, let your struggle become worth. I've heard of the Lord of hosts. Be, don't mock the move of God. Those who make mock testimonies die in trials. Don't mock the move. Somebody is testifying you are unhappy. What is your problem? You say, that cannot be true. How can you tell? <laughs> so what is true? Someone said, this is my life. And this whole God has done a make out of my life. Oh, it's arranged. That's why you are in chains. That's why you are in bandage. Be careful. What you think, what you talk, be careful. self inflicted causes can only be free by yourself. Yes, sir. Nobody can set you free. You come back in repentance. Jesus, save me. Rescue me. You talk about because we are looking at witches and wizards. No, look at yourself first. After you are saved, am I under self-inflicted causes? Am I willingly violating the principles of life? I think that's in the scripture. Then free yourself from it. Why am I saying this? You must be free this month. Yeah. You must be free this month. Yeah. You must be free this month. Yeah. This month is your month of liberty. Yeah. It's your month of freedom. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. 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 Yeah. Give the Lord a big hand of praise, everybody. Causes are often generational in nature. But Jesus is our lifeline. Jesus is the only escape. And according to Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 3, your escape is today. Yeah. Your escape is today. Yeah. Now, kingdom stewardship is one way to activate the blessings of God in our lives and see all crosses made of none effect. Thou shalt serve the Lord thy God and he shall bless. And when God blesses, who can cause? He said, when I bless you, leave those who cause you to me, I will cause them on your behalf. I won't wait for you. I will deal with them on your behalf. He said to Abraham, I will bless them that bless thee and him that causes you, I will cause. Now, among the ways to activate that blessing is through kingdom advancement stewardship. Kingdom advancement stewardship brings a believer under a blessing that cannot be cursed by man or devils. Thou shalt serve, he shall bless. And among the blessings, he will take sickness away from you. <laughs> you shall not cast a young nor be buried in the land. He shall deliver you from untimely death. Ah. You shall serve, I shall bless. It's a deal. In the precious name of Jesus, may you not toy with your kingdom still worship and devour again. Yeah. We serve a covenant keeping God. You have seen many people jumped out of sickness into hell through kingdom advancement and devil. It's your turn. Amen. It's your turn. Amen. No testimony in this church has ever been doctored once, once, once. When they say Papa, we are writing, we say the bishop. Because there are too many papas in the world. Bishop Yudipo said. When they want to talk about a man, they say, ah, we say him. He, he forgot. It, it's a slip of tongue. <laughs> Apart from that, no, nothing of any testimony has ever been doctored. We call the numbers. Hello, can you write this thing down? And someone you see that in one corner, you know what they're doing? They're just trying to manipulate us. If God reacts, mm -hmm. you are gone. Mm -hmm. There is no professional moment without casualties. Mm -hmm. 
There are many casualties in church. They can't tell where the thing is coming from. But through spiritual carelessness, that runs into trouble. You are free from that trouble. You are free from it. You are free from it. You are free from it. Every form of suffering that you may have caused yourself, uh, today the Lord will open your eyes to get free from it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Everyone should expect there for all these of courses, satanic generation or diabolica, to be broken from our lives in this service today. It is settled. In the name of Jesus. It is settled. In the name of Jesus. Give the Lord a big hand of praise, everybody. Very quickly before we administer the healing power of God that's already gone forth, because you are going out of here whole. He's already spoken life to you, and as prophetic declarations come, he will release it into manifestation, and you'll be free on the spot. Now, if you are not saved, that's where it begins. Healing is the children's bread. It's available to the children on daily basis. God won't wait till next week to heal you. He has the power to do it right now. Or you first become a child of God. You want to surrender your life to Christ and be born again, wherever you are in this service, please stand to your feet. God bless you. Many more are standing up. Jesus saved my soul this morning. Rescue me from the course of life this morning. Bring me out of the pit of darkness this morning. Please stand up and remain standing, please. I'll be praying for you right there where you are. There are people also who need to rededicate their life to Christ and come back on course with their God. Wherever you are, you want to rededicate your life to Christ, stand to your feet also. You have been coming to church, but there's no more meaning to you. Stand to your feet. You are once saved, you need the meaning of life, but you can't understand it anymore. Stand to your feet. It's your day. This time must end, the, must end every form of frustration in anyone's life. In Jesus' name. Now, for all those who are standing for the two calls, please bow your heads and pray this prayer after me. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Say, oh Lord Jesus, save my soul. Will you lift up your right hand, please, where you are? Save my soul. Forgive me all my sins. Wash me with your blood. I believe you died for me. On the third day you rose again to set me free from the power of sin. Today, I accept you as my Lord and my Savior. And I believe my sins are now forgiven. I'm justified by your blood. I'm saved. I'm born again. I'm restored back to the faith. I'm now a child of God. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Amen. Keep your hands up. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Amen. I cover each of you. I pray the prayer with the blood of Jesus. Remain covered in Jesus' name. Amen. Against us, satanic as us. You never step back into darkness anymore. You have escaped today. You have escaped for life. Grace to run the race to the end, receiving right now. You will make it to heaven at the end of your journey. Sin will not block your way. In the name of Jesus. And in today's great service, receive your healing. In Jesus' name. Congratulations. Congratulations. Please complete those forms. Amen. Complete those forms and pass them on to the officials that are around with you. We also have a card with you called We Love You Card or caption We Love You Card. Please take that card at the end of this service to any of the six tents along the major of the church. So make that card and they'll give you some gift items from the church. You need it. So take it. Clarify your life in Jesus' name. Just 
before I pray and we see God manifest himself. As we embark on operation, come and see. Let us be reminded that we serve a covenant keeping God, not a covenant breaking God. As we commit to our part of the terms of his covenant, we have committed him to his part. He never lies. When the word says, draw near to me, I will draw near to you. It simply implies God expects us to initiate how we want him to respond to us. By how we respond to the terms of the covenant. Until we hearken to his Christ, he cannot commit, we cannot commit him to hearken to our own. This is what God is saying concerning of your common see. Favor my cause. And you never run out of favor with me. Psalm 35, verse 27. Promote my cause, and I will promote you in return. Mark 10, 28 to 30. We have left all and followed thee. What shall we have? Promotion. Advance my cause, and I will make a star of you. Many stars will rise in this church from the platform of stewardship. And they that turn into righteousness shall shine as the stars forever and ever. Your star is rising. Amen. Your star is rising. Amen. Be committed to enlarging the place of my dwelling, and I will not seek to enlarge your coast. Get said, God is out to enlarge your coast. In the multitude of people is the case honor. And it honors me, I will honor. Make me first. And I'll make you a frontliner. Many frontliners are here this morning. <laughs> Give him his first place. You'll not find yourself in the last place. Where you place God is where he places you. Make me first, I make you first. Many frontliners are in this service this morning. Yeah. Get sold out to it. We are not having fun. Serving God is big time business. With the tongues that are matching. Over to you and over to me. The month shall be a most fruitful month. And a month of advancement for you. A month of enlargement for you. The full fortune package ordained for you this year shall be fully delivered. Amen. Now stand to your feet. How many believe that Jesus still is today? How many believe that he is all manner of sickness and all manner of disease? How many believe that he, de he delivers from the grave? Everyone appointed to death is declared delivered today. Amen. As a point of contact, place your hand on any area of your heart, your life that is challenged. If you don't know where it is, put your hand on your chest. It is not weakness to seek for help when you need one. It's wisdom. Don't die in silence. Don't die in silence. It's no weakness to cry out to God. We see you shining outside. Are you shining inside? I make one ketonara. A riambo katenia. A mozuzia lakante. We see you laughing outside. Are you pained inside? Now, in the precious name of Jesus Christ, every disorder in anyone's body is called back to order. Yeah. I command every pain and every ache to drop off you right now. Yeah. 
I command that terminal disease terminated now. Every blood disease is caused today. High blood pressure is gone forever. Hypertension drops off your life. Every heart condition is healed. Yeah. HIV AIDS healed. Yeah. Cancer destroyed. Sickle cell anemia destroyed. Yeah. Impotency destroyed. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. Barrenness destroyed. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Insomnia, sleeplessness destroyed in the name of Jesus. Every oppression of the devil drops off your life today. Every moving object ceases right now in the name of Jesus. Every seed of the wicked planted in anyone's life is uprooted right now in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, now be healed, be set free, be liberated. It's your turn at last. Your testimony is dropping right now. Your testimony is dropping right now. The pains are disappearing right now. What you could not do before, begin to do them right now. Begin to do them right now. What you could not do before, begin to do them right now. Begin to lift your hands. Begin to shake your head. Your neck is loose. The tightness in your heart is broken. In the name of Jesus. Come on now, lift up your hands and give God thanks. You believe you receive, give God thanks. 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 Hallelujah. Give God thanks. Come on, give the Lord the biggest hand of praise. Now, I want 10 miracles in front right now. Jesus has touched you as the word went on, and as the prayer was made, a prophetic proclamation was made, jumped out in front. We celebrate God with you and closing the service. This is liberation month. It's your liberation month. This is your liberation month. The pain has disappeared, come down in front. Your eyes are now open, come down in front. Your ears can now hear, come down in front. Do that quickly. Choir, poof, move. Move right now. Jesus is Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. Jehovah Rapha is the Lord. Jehovah Rapha is the Lord. Jehovah Rapha is the Lord. He is the Lord that he led me. Jehovah Rapha.
Declaring victory. Victory. Put your hands together. Lord, a big hand of praise, everybody. Now, these testimonies are pointers to the fact that your own is equally there. Amen. Let this testimony stir your faith because this is your month of wholeness. Amen. And it's starting right now. Amen. All those who believe they receive your miracles, just check up again and they'll tell you that those things are no longer there Amen. because the power of God I see it already. <laughs> you can't believe and miss the virtue. You believe you tap into virtue. You have tapped into virtue, and that virtue makes whole. It's surely going to deliver your own portion. Please get seated. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. <laughs> Let's take a few of these testimonies quickly. Hallelujah. Emmanuel Oshilo, for the past four years, has had stroke like symptoms. But right as the word came forth today, every one of those symptoms disappeared, is now set free to the glory of Come God. On, give the Lord praise. For the past eight months, has had a growth and blood flow going on for eight continuous months. But right as the word came forth right now this morning, the blood flow ceased, the growth disappeared, Hallelujah. Jesus has set her free. Help me celebrate Jesus, the healer. <laughs> Helen Okonkwo, for six months, has had heart palpitation. But right as the word came forth, the palpitation ceased. She couldn't breathe well for six months also, but she can breathe perfectly well now to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Osakwe at Adama could not stretch out the hand for the past five years. But right as the word came forth, the hand was loosed and she can stretch it to the glory of God. Kate Okabo, for the past one year, has been having chronic back pain. But right as the word came forth, the back pain disappeared and now healed to the glory of God. Sunday Atta, for the past two years, has been hearing strange voices. But right as the word came forth, that voice was silenced and now set free to the glory of God. Hallelujah. The Lord has silenced the camp of your enemies. Give the Lord the biggest hand of praise. For La Shade Oyatola, for the had been having a strange evil oppression. For, in, for two to three years. But as the word came forth today, a being walked out of our system and now totally set free to the glory of God. 
glory. Ade Ade Boye Tolu Lokwe Emmanuel for one year could not see clearly, but right as the word came forth, the eye has been set free, can see very clearly now to the glory of God. Two more, please. Two more, please. Two more. Look, I'm sure down for the next service. Stephen Lillian, for the past one year, suffered from pile. But right as the word came forth, the pile disappeared, now set free to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Silas Ishaya, for 15 years, has been having intense pain in the waist. But as the word came forth, pain disappeared, now set free to the glory of God. Hallelujah. Shall we all rise, please? Give the Lord Jesus the biggest hand of praise. Now, sing this song as we go. Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound. Jesus set me free. Now, all the testimonies shared in here, they are declared permanent. Many of us, as you go, you'll be cleansed. As you go, you'll be made whole. There shall be commotion of testimonies this week. It begins from a, a, a covenant hour of prayer to midweek service to WSR. Testimonies galore of the healing power of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please get back to your seat. All the ones who have written their testimony, please drop them. It's all over. Come on now. Jesus sets me free. I cannot be bound. Sing it aloud. Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound. Jesus set me free. I cannot be bound. I cannot be bound. Oh, Jesus sets me free. Liberation services. So the Tuesday liberation service will not hold this month. We are on on the liberation frequency in all our services. It shall be awesome. Please draw as many as we need to draw to be here on Sundays. Draw them to the zona centers during midweek service. Those who may not be able to move, ensure they connect online. On their videos, events, Jesus will raise them up. He sent me to stop mankind from the torments of the devil. I'm doing what he sent me to do. If you believe it, you have it. It's done. Amen. Go in peace. Remain committed to favoring the cause of Christ. Drive operation, come and see on a personal note. Make it happen by your dint of commitment. In the name of Jesus. It's your week of testimony. The devil is unseated on your career and business. No more struggle in your family. You will never beg in this season. Nothing dies in your hand. In Jesus' precious name. 
so shall it be. Amen. Aim at minimum for souls. Thank you so much for listening to the end. I pray that whatever that you have listened to today, you are not going just to keep it, but you are going to do what God has told you through this message. And please kindly, if you are new here or you are not, so I mean you have not subscribed, kindly just click on the red button below the video and subscribe to this my channel. And also you can share this video with someone else. Thank you so much and see you in my next video. Bye.